Abby, that's one of the elves that held us captive in the White Lands. That... that was a misunderstanding. Uh, but perhaps a fortunate one? L let me explain. First explain what you're doing with these penned-up undead, elf. Your explanation had better be good, Jailer. Yeah. When I pass out and wake up in a cell, I like Ale to be involved first. We had no choice. We intercepted communication that our mana flows were going to be targeted. We suspected outsiders like you. Ridiculous. But after you escaped, we captured a messenger and interrogated him. Meaning you tortured him. Gift me this dog's blood. We found out it was the undead here in Wotan's grave who are targeting us. But we don't know what they're planning. This can still end well. You're obviously resourceful. If you helped us combat this plot, we could reach an agreement. To, uh, compensate you for the earlier misunderstanding. We'll help you stop the undead's attack, but it will cost you. Of course, of course. To discover what the undead are plotting, perhaps it would be best if you tried to get the information from them yourself? You are rather intimidating. Oh, you think that's bad? This is her when she's being nice. You're one to talk. All right, let's talk to the undead. Ah, so our tepid-blooded little host has pets, does she? Here to do elven bidding? Tell us what you're planning. There are innocent lives involved, not just combatants. Tickle us with your feeble tortures if you're going to, but spare me your prattle. The hum of your veins is already deafening. You can linger in that cage if you want, but you're wasting away. If you tell me what I need to know, I'll have the elves bring you some sheep's blood. No, not sheep. Give me elf blood. They can spare some, surely. No. Sheep's blood or thirst? I'll tell you. Just let me drink. My name is Pelma. I was part of a force sent to harvest mana from the corpse of the fallen god. There are caves beneath Wotan's grave. We were to extract and poison the mana. Poisoned mana? The suppliers, warlocks, they devised runes that could corrupt the mana. Once we mine the tunnels, we are to plant the runes in the elves' mana fountains above ground. The ones that feed their villages. All their villages. That would kill hundreds! Thousands! Children use those mana springs! Yes, they do. You fools! We need to block those tunnels. Then the tunnels will be your tomb. Is it not enough we're left here to rot, but you must also parade your neck before my fangs? I've never heard of anyone poisoning mana before. Explain how. With runes, we target the springs that feed only to the Marauder's camps. It will end the conflict before the more vengeful of my people take things too far. There are tunnels all over Wotan's corpse. Tell me where to look. The Warlocks have burrowed into the chest of the dead god, north of here. Follow the stench. Whatever has been going on here, we're putting a stop to it. I'd suggest you don't get in the way, Pelma. Is it not enough we're left here? Whatever has been go- 
The leader of the group we apprehended, a vampire woman, has so far refused to speak. To you, perhaps. There are warlocks using runes to poison the mana spewing from Wotan's chest. I'm going to find them. The forests rose. It was my home, and as its druid, I was its ward. It's hard to imagine anyone living in this place. It's so desolate. The trees were thick, beautiful. They whispered together of ages past, and drank from roots older than gods. Not fire. The forests almost seem destroyed intentionally. By war and failure. The world's war and my failure. Before meeting you, I gave my life to avenging it. Something's stalking us. Emder, you have aged. Melander, at first I didn't recognize you. You carry the smell of the blood of innocence. No one is innocent anymore. So, two things. First, you know this cat, and second, cats talk now? This is Emder. You would know her as a were leopard. This is but one of her forms. And this is the Liberator that even the birds sing of? It seems all the other animals have left. The children. The children have gone. Some did. Some fled to die elsewhere when their madness is spent. Is it possible you still care for them? For the creatures and trees? You're not like any were-leopard I've met before. I am one of the mothers. The first of the forest beasts. The others are gone. I was the mistress of this forest. It was innocent. The trees and meadows knew no sin. Melendrach and I failed them. Your breathing is weak. You're wincing. Show us your wound. We may be able to heal it. The forest is my wound. These are its last days. And with it, I will die. No, we will go to the Elves. They squander phoenix seeds on medicines for wounded soldiers. Then the soldiers go forth and create more wounds. By the seasons of my body, I beg you. The seeds were stolen from the forest's rose to supply warriors. We must find them. The phoenix seeds were taken to the elven medical tents. It's hard to imagine. The trees were thick, beautiful. They whispered together of ages past. If we get the phoenix.
My first croaking note of the crow's song. Voices? Mortis, then another. An angel profane? An angel profane. I've not heard of a crow's song. Long, long ago, there was a rite of death over which even Mortis had no control. My dread queen is powerful, but she is not all-knowing. Not yet all-powerful. There are undead like myself with free wills and minds. And others like me who would tear the dead and killing queen's throat out as soon as obey her. The crow's song is a mystery from a time when Mortis was lesser. Clearly you two know each other. Indeed. He was the first I raised. The first soul I ever blessed with lingering. He seems broken. He's not making any sense. Agreed. He is a product of my early work. It's remarkable how far my art has come. Wait. Master Hubert? When you left the seminary, we thought maybe you had lost faith. I... I cursed you for leaving me when I needed you. A well-placed curse, Sebastian. But do not grieve. I learned much from his darkening. My master... reduced to this? May all the gods damn you twice, Ejimar! I'm certain they will. As I said in Ilion, it is here with my first woken that the ritual of the Crow's Dance must begin. And it begins with a sacrifice. Arm yourself, old fiend. Face your death. We are the best with true servants.
death to all mortals. Rebirth and death. Will you just die? This follows.
I am his Face your death. The old ways must die. will serve me in time. Rage. Here 
is your glory. Yes, yes, it continues. First, my dear Sweet and Greyleaf, and now here. This is the part where you tell me what this is. Crows, dances, and songs. It would almost sound nice if it didn't involve sacrifice. This is what everything is about. Power. My power returning and growing. The Crow's Song is the ritual that wakes my formerly mortal children from their death. But the dance. Oh, what a dance. It is the reaping of the very power incubating within them. There are more, young fiend. Three others. We must find them, and we must reap! The dance has just begun. You ever tell a joke, then when you hear the person's terrible laugh, you resolve to never make them laugh again? Try to be understanding, Ori? Echimar's just a little... or... a lot. He's just a lot. <laughs> 